Hello and welcome to this awesome video review of the Nokia 5310 by METV Reviews. It's a pretty nice phone when you first look at it. It has a 2.1 inch, inch screen with a 320 by 240 resolution. Also, the keypad is an excellent keypad by Nokia. The one bad thing about the screen is that it's a fingerprint magnet, and in the sun, you probably won't see anything at all. Besides that, it has music buttons on the side. With it, it will get you straight into the music player. When you look over here, you'll find that there is the power jack and on the back you'll find the camera and the nice paint job done by Nokia you like that one turning it over here you find the volume up and the volume down switches and from up here you find the 3.5 millimeter audio jack the USB data cable and the power button getting a little bit in the, into this phone you're gonna take the battery cap apart and let's see what it has. Solid, nice one. And here's the battery. Right here you can put your SIM card and taking the battery apart. It's a good nice battery. B BL four C T battery. Three point seven volts. It's a small battery comparing to other Nokia batteries. Right here, there's a SIM slot, micro SD SIM slot. Uh, Nokia gives us this phone with the S30 series software. It ca you can store up to 2,000 contacts in this mobile phone, and it has contact history. Also, it comes with 30 megabytes of internal memory, but you can add eight gigabytes of SD card in the MOBA. Also the bad thing about this phone it, uh, is that it does not support SIS regarding uh, that it's an S30 phone so it only can download Java applications. It comes with a 2 megapixel camera in a resolution of 1600 by 1200 pixels. It's a fairly slim phone getting over 9 millimeters in thickness it's 9.9 .9 millimeters which is a very thin phone its audio and sound are fairly good you can get into your media by going here and choosing the music player and all the music pops up you can go to all songs playlists artists albums and even videos let's see some of Nokia's Zones that are put into this device. So the sound quality is pretty good. There is also PTT in this phone and web. You can access your web, of course. It's a good phone when you put it in the dark, not the best, but it's good. It lights up, buttons light up, and this resolution is fairly well in the dark, you can see extremely good, and it comes with few games, it comes with City Blocks, Music Guest, and Snake and Opera Mini 4. You can also download straight on this phone stuff from the OV store, and you can send messages and check your log and contact. We're gonna go right now and open our camera. See, it's a good camera. Don't know if you can see that, but it's a good camera. And the only problem with it is that the only problem with it is that when I press capture in high resolution, it takes a lot of time to render, as you can see right here takes a whole lot of time to render.
so that's a lot of time. Good keypad, good screen, only the problem with that it ca gets your fingerprint pretty fast. Good music addictive buttons is the jack cameras good besides the uh, rendering time. It feels good in your hand. Does it feel cheap at all? Feels quite good. It's an S30 mobile phone and only supports Java, not SIS format. So Nokia did support us with a fairly good phone. And this phone, I'm gonna have to give it a 7.5 out of 10 comparing to other high end phones today. So, hope you enjoyed this video. And this is another METV review. And METV signing out.